In this video, video 11 out of 24, we talk about the capability of being able to export the MIDI parts of a style. Yes, Keytron have brought that back. That used to be in our SD9 Pro series, but it's been brought back now where you can, be, you can go into the style editor and you are able to now export the MIDI elements of a style. Again, I want to stress on the MIDI elements, not the audio part, not the live drum, not the live bass, nor the live chords or live guitars. Those are four audio parts you will not be able to extract. But the other parts of the style, chord one through five, percussive drums or MIDI drums, MIDI bass, you can export in the style editor those particular parts of arranger A, B, C, or any of the style segments that you choose. If I go to my view and modeling page, okay, right there, all right, and I go into style editor, Yes, I want to enter the style editor. You will now be brought to this particular page right here, right? So now I can do copy export, all right? That's the new function. I can actually export various uh, arranger parts, arranger A, arranger B, arranger C, arranger D, export them as a MIDI file. But take note, only the MIDI elements will be exported. So don't expect to export, let's say, for an example, a live guitar or a live real chord or live audio drum. No, this is this is predominantly for the MIDI elements of your style, which would be, for an example, in this case, your chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four. If I go to bass, your MIDI bass track. If I go to drums, your uh, MIDI drum tracks as well. So we can actually export those different parts now into a MIDI file, bring them up in Cubase, work on them a little bit more in detail, and then bring that back into the event 